Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 as Yugoslavia, and this is, in fact, going to be the final episode. We have accomplished the only remaining difficult thing uh, to do, and it wasn't even that difficult, um, to take the U.S. over here. In this episode, we're going to try to clean up the rest of North America, but that is going to be the end of it, because the rest of the game is indeed just going to be clean up in general. We have tons of factories now, because we took away all the American stuff, but, I mean, who cares, right? Um, everyone's moving into their new position, ready to go. Gold's going to come over here. I forgot to give you an actual offensive instruction, which is like... Um, here, go north, go with aggression, that's going to be fine. Green, oh, had been set to cautious at some point, we're going to reset that. Uh, what, that's, yeah, that's green. Uh, purple, hold on. Green's going down to Mexico, yes, that is correct. Uh, let me delete everything, because I think you still, I got confused about who's who. Green's going to come down here, that's fine. Offensive line, cut across there. Uh, I won't tell you to go yet, because I don't know what the opposition will look like. Purple, meanwhile, you're going to be, you know what? Gold, I'm going to just extend, maybe, yes, no, there we go, out to here, gold, I'm going to tell you to halt so you can reset your movement. Uh, I'm going to get purple to join green and make sure that you've just got our field marshal. Uh, let's take the level 6 field marshal for that, and we'll put a nice high level general over there. Do you have, yeah, hills and stuff, that's going to be great, excellent. So, green's going to come up onto the border, they're already there, I could take like a bunch of planes and move them down there, we should do some nuking, I think. So, let's go and do this. This is probably going to be overkill on planes. Indeed it is. Cancel you. Grab you. Go there. So, this is going to be some strategic bombers, uh, close air support, and some fighters. So, we'll have the air superiority and everything. Excellent. So, we can go and drop a bunch of bombs. Nuki, nuki, nuki. Just pepper it. What is this? Oh, rain. There we go. Nuke all of Mexico. Just glass the desert. Go up to top speed. Still waiting for everyone to arrive. Get some organization. Make sure they're outside of the blast radius. Alright, you guys can go. There's no actual no actual opposition over here, so we're going to be able to keep ripping through this with no problems whatsoever. Meanwhile, Gold Army is actually advancing up here. It's going to be slow. These Rockies and everything like that is pretty slow movement, but it's obviously not a thing. So yeah, what a run. I'm still pretty... There's obviously still some massive deficiencies in the um, the AI in Hoi 4. Uh, in both the terms of it's too easy to beat the opposition. I mean, you can just sort of like tank out over here and... Because uh, that's what we did, right? Like we held... We did fall back a little bit when Germany first started to attack. But mostly we were able to hold back. My apologies for the, uh, the notifications that are coming through here. Let me go and turn that off. Um... You know, tank it out until they sort of burn themselves out, and then you can start to push back, and that's okay. Uh, but also, what slowed us down for a long time is the Soviet Union. You can see they still have massive amounts of troops here. What What is happening here? I mean, I realize that right now it's movement, but the entire Soviet Union army has really done basically nothing for the entirety of the game. Basically nothing. I mean, if they weren't there, then they would have been invaded. I mean, they were, they were defending, I guess, is a thing. But, uh... You, <laughs> It definitely feels like we, we sold the world as Yugoslavia. And yeah, I made plenty of, like, you know, mistakes. Could have been a little bit faster over there. But generally speaking, we did pretty okay, I'm going to say. I don't remember. You got him all over here. You were part of the Allies as well, so we'll take you out. There's a little bit more. No faction. El Salvador, Allies. Canada's capitulated. Ooh, lots of equipment from that as well. Do, 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 do. Uh, gold group, you are going to reset yourself on Alaska over here. And you're going to push through to the back end of Alaska in whatever way you can. Dun, dun, dun. Mexico will fall soon. Yeah. Well, and that's it. And I don't want to go and do, like, all the little micro-naval invasions here. I, don't, I think, I don't know what happens to the U.S. Navy. I don't know if it disappears. I think it's still operational. So, you know, it, just like the, the U.K. one, I think it might still be operational. Uh, despite a capitulation, I'm not 100% sure. So, you know, the, the naval invasions, we're still going to have to make sure to move everything forward, get our ships in position, do a little micro, and just generally be annoying. Apparently, we've got to go and take... Uh, is it the Baja Peninsula over here? Let's go ahead and manually do that. Also, apparently, there's some U.S. stuff there that has trickled back in. Here. Get some of you. Come over here. San Francisco. 
He's got to fall back again. Mexican opposition has capitulated. Wow, lots of gear from that. Still a little pocket there because there's some American troops over there, despite the fact that Americans have capitulated. It is, it is kind of odd how that happens. Uh, I'm going to split the green into two different armies here. Uh, get you to come out there and offensive line that way. Load, load, load. Thank you very much. And then this green group, which still hadn't advanced all the way forward, you're going to go ahead and wrap around this blue bit and offensive line to San Francisco. And play. But there we have it. So, I mean, I don't know what we'd take in the piece. I mean, we're not going to get to the piece because we can't, despite the fact that the Allies are toasted. Like, it's because Japan's back. Then when we kill Japan, we'll probably have to kill New Zealand, then Australia. It's like... The Dutch East Indies. I, at some point, they capitulate, but it feels like... Guatemala's gone. It feels like there's, you know, at a certain point, the war is won, isn't it? So we've lost about 13 million. I don't know if that's 100% accurate about all the losses forever, because we had, like, multiple wars, and they sort of merged and sort of didn't. Uh, but in any case, in this war, 13 million to 47 million. So that's going pretty well. But yeah, if we pop Japan, I think the next thing will go, and the next thing... I mean, we could move our entire fleet around here and see um, if we there's something we can do. It's it's possible. It's, where's what? You're there. I tell you guys to halt so that you can recalculate your... Uh, you can stop strategically redeploying. I'm going to manually run you down that way um, and do that. And that's that. Oh, we took San Francisco. That's nice. Did we retake Alaska? No, not yet. You guys are still moving up there. That's fine. We've got this little bit over here, although that's not really a problem. Um, yeah, like, I could take the entire navy and go there. In fact, hell, we can transfer from across here now. Uh, we've got a foothold. We can actually move. It's only level 3 base. We could move a bunch of troops on here and then go through. I'm, I'd obviously be very concerned about supply, though. Be easier to do a naval invasion. Look at this, they still have a goddamn foothold here. Be easier to maybe do a naval invasion from the south and move in there. Do we still have actual marines? Or do we convert them all over? Uh, we did convert them all over. But, we could convert them back. Again, you lose a little bit of experience, but, you know, it's not a really big deal. Go and bop you guys. You guys are being yeah, fully bopped, and then like that. Kill, 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 kill. That's fully captured as well. So that's swell. And done, and done. Yeah, so I'm going to convert all you guys back to Marines. That's fine. And then here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have to move our Navy into the Pacific. Um, I don't know, like, literally everyone? We can go... Let's see. So I'm going to tell you to halt. I'm going to set your home base as... I need a higher level base here. There you go. This one here. Level 10. You can do Convoy Escort, Western Seaboard, uh, Northwest Pacific, Central Pacific. Then we're going to take you over here. You're going to be based out of this naval base in South Korea. That's not very high level. There, Vladivostok, that's going to be fine. Convoy escort here, here, and there. Uh, hopefully that's going to be sufficient. And then this green group, right, which is the Marines, your job is going to be to plan a naval invasion from here over to, you know what, right here. And I do want all you to go to one area. Although, apparently there's going to be a good number of troops there. We might want to spread you out. It might make it a little tricky, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, meanwhile, we don't need our planes anywhere. Let's go and sort by air base. So we don't want the ships. We don't want the rockets. We want all y'all. Not you. Um, yeah, disband all of these air wings, because that'll make it a heck of a lot easier. 
And then we've got some airfields over here. Although, they're pretty heavily... manned with Russian stuff. Um, we're gonna want... We're gonna want some token air support. One, two. Then we're gonna want a whole lot of fighters. Uh, they'll definitely have to be jet fighter twos, if possible. Um, not tack bombers. Where the hell are jet fighters? I guess they're above here. I still, I still don't understand the organization of this menu here. It's like, nothing about this is alphabetical at all. Well, okay, we know we're not some strategic bombers, say. One, that, that's more than we actually need, but that's okay. So, it's not too far from the top. It's going to be a big number. I probably scrolled by it about 13,000 times. So the Jet Fighter 1s, Jet Fighter 2s. Excellent. Um, there we go. 1,000. And really, I want another one. I hate that it like then resets the menu. I should have checked to see where the scroll bar was in the list. And one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So your job is going to be cover this island. You're going to do um, all the things day and night. That's going to be okay. We've got radar coverage. We've got different things. So you're going to go from there. That's going to be fine. Uh, you know what? They've got so many troops here. Where's my marines? I'm going to reset your commands. It means you're going to have to move by sea again, which isn't ideal, but that's okay. You're actually going to go from here to here. And the reason is, that cuts off all these guys, and we can obliterate them. Cut off, cutting off all their supply. Also means we can get another airfield here really easily. I think if I land here, I'll also have possession over this territory as opposed to the Soviets, which means I can build up some stuff again. And that would be probably kind of helpful. So, max speed, 12 minutes in. Let's see if we can take Japan. I don't know if that'll cause the war to actually end or not. Still have no idea what the Soviets are doing. And I think it's probably pretty accurate to say that they don't know what they're doing either. Uh, you are going to finish moving all the way here, please. And yeah, you guys are going to finish grabbing that, which should be fine. And the teal group down here, I think El Salvador also needs to be flipped. I suppose I can go into diplomat mode and see. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's little bits all over here that we're not going to deal with. El Salvador. Excellent. Um, so teal army... I'm going to encourage you to move as far north as possible, and then we'll get you to cross over at that point. I suppose the gold army, it'll be the same thing. We'll probably get you to just come to this naval base. It's not very high. Your, your, your um, supply is going to suck, but you can leave from here and go across, and we'll just dump a ton of units on there. So we're going to start the nuking of Japan here. The other thing we can do by cutting, just by nuking the crap out of them, is these guys will have really poor supply. So nuke nuke. Where's the line here? I want to get every province. We still have lots, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons. Excellent. Unpause. Boom! They still have 90% unity? Is it not processed? I thought it was supposed to make them easier to capitulate. They're still at 100% here. Did they change it at some point? I thought it was supposed to drop national unity when you nuked someone. I don't know, but these guys are sure as hell going to have a lot less supply. They were also in a nuke zone. I don't know if it makes any difference if, like, units get hit by a nuke. Looks like the answer is no. It looks like it does nothing. Well, that's a real shame. You guys are getting there. I think the preparation is already underway. Yeah. So that's going to be good and swell. You guys are finishing off Alaska. And Teal Group, you're just moving over to some sort of naval base. That's going to be okay. Um, I suppose what I should do is increase my silver garrison here. I don't particularly care about rebellion, but guarding the ports is probably smart. We're probably going to want to train more MPs as well. I mean, I'll start with the ports, and then afterwards I can potentially look into um, filling in, in land over here. Right now we need 67. 
Uh, we've got tons of manpower because we're getting this, although the manpower will go up and down. Yeah, training a, a crap ton of MPs makes sense. Let's go and do three sets of this. Well, we're going to need a ton, so that's going to be okay. Boop. So we'll get that added to the silver group. Okay, uh, looks like we lost some dudes coming around here. Because I think this is a group of 20. Insufficient naval superiority. Yeah, it's sort of coming and going a little bit. Our own... I was looking at air superiority, my bad. Um, we might have lost some ships, too. You guys are going to go and park yourself in here. Halt everything. Park here. And convoy escort here. And there. But it looks like the uh, Soviets have pushed back. In fact, I think they killed all those probably because they were, in fact, out of supply. So that's swell. Uh, gold group, you're done purging all that, which is great. Now you're going to meet up over here so that you can port over to the other side. You're not, not going to have any supply um, for a while, but that's okay. Um, what I can do then is probably tell you guys to treat this as your front line. There you go. So you'll make your way across over to this front line. Meanwhile, the Marines are indeed going to try to land back here. We should be able to secure this very easily. I think Japan will fall pretty quick. Drop some more nukes behind them. Because it's... I don't know. Because what else are we going to do with all these nukes? Excellent. You're there. We're going to tell you to make an offensive line that goes this way so that we can go ahead and just squeeze all these things in here. Get them eliminated. Although there's something to be said about rushing down here so that we can secure this crossing. But I think it makes sense to just flatten all these troops out. We can secure the airport. And yeah, I will have control over some of this territory so I can do some builds, which is good. And as well as improve the train here. Although I suspect our civilian build queue is probably full of fixing all the nuclear damage that was done uh, to the Americas. I don't know how that happened. I deny everything. So, uh, we could, like, deploy the Teal Army somewhere else, but I'm just going to go ahead and have them join this gold group. You've got a um, Field Marshal. Or, no, you don't. Give you our high-level Field Marshal. And green, you can actually just have the high-level General. That's going to be fine. So these guys are obviously all getting flattened and overrun. they got nowhere to go. Uh, so at this point, actually, I'm going to cancel my green attack. I'm going to encourage my troops to join the southern offensive push here as green. And maybe I'll just do like one giant army. Ah, unless I want to do a second naval invasion. Like it's a big question mark because there's certainly a lot of risk in doing a naval invasion. On the other hand, it can really accelerate things a fair bit. I think for now we're just gonna we're just gonna run south as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna actually tell Gold Group to just go ahead and join up there. That's gonna be fine. Um, do the field marshal thing, and then if we run into a blockade, then we will deal with it then. But for now, keep going with maximum speed. Land as many troops over here in some way as possible, and just run to the south. two divisions. Go, go, go. I got you on aggro mode, right? Yep. Don't seem to be complaining about supply problems. I think we're going to swoop through here just fine. How did... I don't know, man. Nuking. Where's all my nuking fun? Why well, didn't cause these guys to break? Because, I mean, that's what we used... We. That's what the Allies used to break Japan in World War II. Because they were going to defend, like, pretty mad. And... You know, there's there's lots of there's lots of um, ethical debates about the use of nukes. You know, was it necessary? Was it too extreme or whatever? Although uh, there's a lot of people have made the case that at, by that point it's sort of a moot 
discussion because we were already like firebombing cities. I mean, that was happening back and forth. Axis, allies, everyone like active firebombing, setting entire cities on fire, killing tons of people. Um, so the idea of like using massive bombs against civilian population was was not really a discussion that was necessarily had, I think, to the extent that we might imagine it today, because we'd already gone there. As as a human race, we'd already gone there. So, but yeah, it would have been nice to not have to do a actual naval invasion over here. You know, nuke them a couple of times and convince them that they should probably, you know, stop. Stop fighting. Uh, don't delete orders. Yeah, just make sure that's going there. So, the question is, will someone else take up the seat of Japan after this? Will we have to deal with Africa, or Australia? I saw South Africa over here, but I meant, like, Australia, New Zealand, before the Allies will actually capitulate, or what? Like, I don't know, they're not at the top of the list. You'd think there'd be, like, a series of them at the top, or is the state of Japan capitulating the last thing? We're gonna find out. You guys are taking that, you're taking that, good, 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 good. I'm not going to turn off the uh, the Marines anymore. We'll keep the things as is. I actually got one little resistance there, but I think we're only attacking with a single a single army over here, or a single division. There we go. Keep on going. So after you've done that, you're going to... We'll draw a new offensive line through here. Go. Did we ever nuke down here? Let's just make sure. And I think the answer is yes. We did nuke everything, but let's go ahead and nuke some more. Because that seems fun. Wow, that is, like, really bright. Run, 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 run. Getting there. I mean, they, they have little islands and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure if we grab the, the main island, that's going to be the 90%. So when Japan capitulates, whether or not we get an actual peace deal, this will be the end of the video. You go there. And you, I want you to go and just clean that up. More overruns. Hiroshima, gone. Continue on to Nagasaki. Go, 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 go. Yeah, Nagasaki, I'm sure, is going to be the final victory point. They've capitulated. Yeah, and then it just puts the next thing up at the top. There's, there's Australia, New Zealand, Dutch West Indies, Philippines, Venezuela. I mean, there's not that much left. Um, it's so silly. So yeah, I'd have to mount like a, a bunch of different naval invasions, move our ships there. Obviously, it's just done. I mean, then we could like click on things for, for what we end up finalizing. But I think it would end up being a couple more episodes just to like bop all these stupid... Stupid little islands and things that are left over. Australia can sometimes be slow and kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and we don't have the world's hugest navy, so for all I know it would take a while. And realistically, I mean, as if they wouldn't have capitulated. I mean, give me a break. Give me a break. We control... We control, like, all of Eurasia Fraca to, I don't know, you know, this sort of a contiguous landmass. So this supercontinent Pangea thing is all under control. All of North America. Um, there's a lot of neutrality over here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of these neutrals. There's some opponents over here, Venezuela, and some um, some European holdings over here. But they've, these guys have already capitulated. So there's like, that's it. This is the last remnant of defense. And what do they think they're going to do? Nothing. Like, negotiate a ceasefire. You don't have to, like, give yourself up. You can still be independent. We don't care at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a win. Uh, because the rest of it is just, in my opinion, somewhat boring minutia. I kind of think that this should be... It's a little bit silly that the war hasn't ended yet. There's going to be, like... We've seen that before. There's going to be, like, one little tiny island nation somewhere, and... It's, there's, you know, until New Zealand goes, it's not, they're not going to end the war with the Allies. Like, really? Really? Come on. So it was a fun game. Um, a little frustrating in a lot of locations. Not going to lie. Kind of frustrating in some locations. But a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, do look forward to the next series. There will be more Hearts of Iron 4 in the future. I'm still hoping to do Kaiserreich if all goes well. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you guys next time.